All right, people, we are back once again, more Dando commentary. So, once again, we have Stu. Hi. So, we got Sand Monkey here using Necros. <laughs> so, at least I get to see more Necros. And we got, oh boy, Rip the Burn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Rest in peace, the burn. Level 2, yep. <laughs> so, here we go, yep. Necros. Oh, we just gonna see the powerful Jin Lock already? Because you guys know that the Jin Lock shouldn't be hit because you know we have answers to it. Because the evidence of absence is always that. Oh yeah. Uh, absence of evidence. <laughs> like oh, because you can stop the Jin Lock. Yeah, it's it's fine. You can stop everything in Yu-Gi-Oh. It doesn't mean that it's not stupid and busted. But hey. <sighs> okay, Clado has has resolved. I, I don't even know why it's still sitting there. Yep, exit the level chain, go ahead and detach, then the, the gin, then activate your ritual card. Wait, what's Special it? summon either that. No, you could pitch the. What is it called? Colossalus, add a ritual spell, and then. Yeah, add cycle with the Colossalus, and then just play it. So, yep, here we go. Yep. Go ahead and lock it out of the door already. Let's go ahead and start it up. You know, I've never played Necros. Yeah, same here. No. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> never played Necros, I've never played Infernoid, and I've never played Ritual Beast. Three decks I probably will never play in my life. <laughs> I never thought I'd play Infernoid, but I just wanted to go ahead and try them out. Especially since people yeah. are all running around screaming that, you know, if the top decks get hit, that's the next tier one. I don't see it. You're too luck based. So, um, oh boy, do you have one of the answers? Hopefully you do. I mean, it's not that busted. You can't special summon, but it's not that busted because, you know, as long as you have the answer, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yes, he does. So there you go, guys. That's there why you shouldn't get banned. Yeah, that's how you should get banned because as long as you have the fucking Regeki, the, the one out of... Actually, he's running more than fucking 40 cards. The one oh my fucking God. 45 Regeki, but uh, hey. Oh, of course. Why not? Hey, that's what happens when you fucking number generize it up, right? Yep. I swear to God, that wouldn't happen in a real fucking. Should have summoned Doom Cow first, just in case he had like a, what is it, a Gugnir? Yeah. But hey, whatever. You know, there you go. There's your risk versus reward. Risk when it comes to doing the gen log costs a lot of resources, and if it gets, we get stopped, then bam. But you can just go ahead and use your fucking mirror and go ahead and get another search. So that's all good. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Mirror kaleidoscope. It's all good. Just keep on getting your pluses. Oh yeah. Ah, <sighs> all stupid. So, yesterday, last day, we talked about necros. Uh, I guess we'll move on with other decks. So, well, I guess we'll move on to deck number two. How do you think Burning Abyss should be hit? If they should be hit at all? Burning Abyss probably. Uh, Dante D two would be a great start, but probably, I would say Sir to one would be a more optimal hit. Sir to one, that's one from the graveyard, right? Yeah, because playing the deck myself, that's the one I get back with Dante all the time and see myself using the most. So he's like, Sir Dante, needs a Dante Sir Loop. Yeah. With the Fire Lakes. Yeah, at this just point, stupid. Fire Lake is okay. They only like playing, like, well, like you, I look at all the top deck lists, like, most of the time they're only playing main deck in one, side deck in the second, or some aren't even main deck in it. So, mm -hmm. I mean. Because with the hit to Hooray God, they gotta rely more on their, uh,. You want to play Warning? Okay, well then the monsters were never ritual summoned. So... Go. Put that back to your hand. Okay, yeah, put that back to your hand. Put the banished monsters back in the graveyard, and then go ahead and Warning the mirror. Okay. Right. It's a 45 card deck. Open up Solomon and right No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, no. Hey, no. using the best deck of the oh format? Oh my god, Still don't know how to no, play it. It's no, okay, guys. no. <laughs> These warnings? Oh my god. The mirror. You still have Valk in hand and your monsters were never banished. Oh my god. You can't fucking summon warning the summoning of a Necros monster if it's ritual summon like that. <laughs> Wish you could. Yeah, that'd be nice. Go ahead and pay your costs, and then I want to use it. Nope, doesn't work like that. 
So, you still have no cards on your field. So, and you're still in main phase one, technically. So, you can go ahead and use your Necro's Mirror again. Go ahead and search for another. Yeah, yeah no, that's the can... problem with Solemn Warning against Necros. Necros. Yeah. It's only good against Denko or their normal summon guys. Mm -hmm. That's why I thought Solemn Judgment could come back. Nope. It's, yeah, it's terrible against Necros and Inferno. It's so? So, it will be. But, and when bad players use it against you, they just literally like gave up the duel. The problem, the problem with Solemn Judgment is that you can always cut your life points in half, and it's always a good card whether you're in a winning or losing situation. <laughs> yeah, I know. And being able to stop spell trap and monster effects by cutting your life points in half, like that is the most arbitrary and oddest freaking cost. Because sometimes most people think, oh, cutting my life points in half, man, that's freaking, that's four thousand. But then cutting your life points in half, you could be at a thousand. <laughs> Could be at a hundred. Exactly. So. so that was literally just a waste of a solemn warning. Yep. Really? I would have went for another. Can you act only activate one of the effects per turn or something? I would have went for another collider. I don't even know. I mean, another. But he negated it, so. Yeah. You could just play it. Mm hmm. Hey, I'm not going to tell you how to play Yu Gi Oh! You want to do your shit quickly, do your shit correctly. Alright, Kaleido. Oh wow. He's actually playing the decisive one. So now you know everything he has. Yep. That's his fault, though. I mean, come on. He had Regeki, and of course he's going to have the Solemn Warnings number generator. 45 card deck gets Regeki on warning, opening hand. <laughs> Come on. Duh. Of course. Of course. Still have no idea what deck he is, and it looks like some studs. What? Okay. 45 card deck plays up Star Goblin. Mm hmm. 45 card deck plays up. I'm, I'm done. Oh, two Wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Whoever doesn't believe in number generator. I know. <laughs> it's not a theory at this point, it's just. It's just a fact. <laughs> like, you want to see? Like, you, you, your cards are put down to one? Yeah, a little bit consistency. In real life. <laughs> On here, that just means that they're just gonna be even more consistent. Really Don't good. ever play up Sir Goblin in a deck that has more than 40 cards. Stupid. Ever. Just take up Sir Goblin's out and then, bam, you already worked. <laughs> <laughs> you better have a good game plan with that Levier. <laughs> what? The only thing that's banished is the Manju that he can get back. You can't. Er. Oh no, he had that too. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Once he kills it, he can just banish it again. Oh what? my god. <laughs> Are you guys seeing this? <laughs> <laughs> What's your rating? Mm, mm, okay. What's your rating? Uh huh. Mm, mm hmm. Oh my god. So you literally just helped out Sandmonkey because he can just attack over the, the one guy and then banish it again. Jijin lock him again. And Decipher's armor can get rid of that back row for free. Why would you set that? Why would you set that? I know. Oh my god. We can't escape the badness. <laughs> what was well played? <laughs> what? Oh my god, he's gonna. He almost. Huh? What do you mean? Ow. <laughs> First, I thought he was being sarcastic. Uh. My forehead is so red right now. <laughs> I'm just fucking. Mm. Oh, it's just hilarious. Mm. Literally just hilarious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of shit. Tired of babysitting. I'm just gonna continue talking. Um, Don the two would be a, a totally justified hit. Yeah. It seems a little bit too early to be killing Burning Abyss. Seems like Sir would hurt. Sir hit would hurt a little bit yeah, too much, especially with the, especially with only one tour guide. Two Dante, you can still duel with two Dante. 
Just triple Dante is a little bit ridiculous. Firstly, I don't think they're gonna hit the deck at all. Probably not. Probably not. If anything, it'd just be Dante to two. Yep. All right. Uh, please. Scout to one. Thank you. Thank you. That's all it needs to happen. Scout to one. <laughs> Thank you. It's just a ton of fucking people. Oh, I don't hit scout. Oh, yeah, let's go. Like, what, what else are you legitimately gonna hit? hit. <laughs> like, shit, there's nothing else to fucking hit. I mean, the deck was still topping in before lose one turn. It would help if lose one turn would get hit, but I doubt it. Sam Monkey, you're going a little bit balls deep with, uh. I was gonna say ban skill drain. <sighs> uh, you know what? No. <laughs> Why, Why did, did I get, get banished? Why did I get banished? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and the babysitting continues, everyone. Yep. <sighs> you were like, oh, that's great. I'm gonna get into gym lock him again because he's a fucking dumbass. He summoned my release and put it back for me. Like, holy shit. Yep. So without cutting Trace Hendry draw a card, now what? You can watch him be like, thanks. Nigga! <laughs> Stop thanking me! I'm not, I'm not helping you! <laughs> I don't care, I'm completely on Oh my god. <laughs> okay. This is stupid. I don't know what he, was, what he was using, like Doom Caliber Knight, Infernity Necromancer. Yeah, I like Infernities, man. Uh, we'll be right back with our duel. Uh, no more babysitting. <laughs> I'm tired of telling them. I'm tired of shit. Help. I said, yeah, okay, it was right. It was in front of me. The heck is that? I have no idea. That Tristan. I don't. Tristan combo to make the ranking zombie plays, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I thought you were talking about Tristan no. combos in the anime. No. It's like, what combos did he do? <laughs> His voice gives him super strength. Ah. Uh, yeah, you know, Scout. And that's it. I mean, what else can you point your fingers at? I'm sorry. I was discussing with someone on part two. And he was completely biased because he plays Cleese, you know. So like, you know, at this point, it's just justified. It's just justified. Yeah, there's no other direct hits that would do anything. Like, the only other hits would be, like, Summoner's Art or Skill Drain Band. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there's no destruction. <laughs> Should have waited before you play that Inferno. He's probably just going to blind MST it. Yep. That's what you get for just playing cards right off the bat for no reason. Yeah, especially when you can chain it, like, really? Yeah. <sighs> well, this duel's over. Oh, yeah. So, let's see how long he lasts. Probably not that long. <laughs> and I said, yeah, Unicorn should be put down to one. Unicorn is a little bit too much. No, it doesn't go with those collateral mirror combo, but it also gets your Brio back from Grave, too. For more searching? Like, no. Nah. Uh, to tellers. So tellers, well, Roto would be the same situation. They decided to do that for Necros or anything else. Mm -hmm. And then Triv to one mm, could probably be the best. I don't. I don't believe they're gonna hit Deneb. That would be the second best choice besides Roto. Roto would be like one of the best choices. Yeah, Triv, I'm saying. I'm Roto. thinking Roto and Triv. I said I'm not sure how they feel about Roto. They put it's it back. Using everything. Yeah, if they put it back down. Then hey, it's gonna like that. But I'm just not sure how they feel about it. You know, are they still trying to promote UAs and noble knights? Did they just say, you know, let's forget it. everything else can search. So why not warriors? But then the warriors are the stupid ones. So I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> just really unsure. Oh, there's that busted ass card. Oh yeah. Yep. And then there's Brio. 
So, yep, this duel's pretty much over. I think that's everybody, really. We talked about shit all. Talked about, yeah, we talked about all five top decks. Yeah. Yep, that's Shriet. So. I mean, there's really no that's point in telling your deck to get hit. What's another deck I can get hit? No, another contender for Necro is Shireen. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. If they don't want to hit Rota, then hit Shireen. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> totally not your phone. You're totally watching your own video or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm totally watching my own video. You know, it, it's, your, it's your entire tribute requirement. It searches you for a, a, a literally warrior, anything. Literally, your tie a warrior, because which will connect to literally everything. You know, it it, it definitely yeah, it's searchable through Rota. Like, mm -mm. like that. R Rota, Rota going back down would be a nice choice. You know, I, I didn't guess. even see Trish once, and that's the game I believe on board. Yep. Yep, that's game. Yep, that's game. That is that is turn it. one? Yeah, you got FTK. Wow. Spread his butt. That's it. That's yeah. why you guys don't play Infernities. Yeah. I mean, OCG has Rota at one, and you know what? I think that's totally justified. Sorry. You put up Rota, but then it started to be a problem. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, back when it wasn't popular before, what, Teller Knights? How much is that? 29 plus 33. Oh, I just lost connection right now. 33 plus. How much is about 28, I think? 29. No. Yeah, that's that. Yep, he got, he got FTK. Damn. <sighs> like, when did Rota start going back up? Was it, like, right before Noble Knights came out? I mean, not no, No. It was like Noble Knight time, right? It? Uh, it was like right before Noble Knights got their box set and they were starting to get a little bit popular. I think it was to... like, the, what, the first ban list of 2014, I believe? Or the last of 2013. No the last of 2013, Love is when Spillbook Fade and... What else happened there? I think the E-Dragons all got put to one on that ban list too. I don't remember if Rota was on there today. I just lost connection. <laughs> Yeah, same here. <laughs> Whatever, this video is just done anyway. Just watching Necros literally slap the shit out of me. Assuming that was Infernities? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, they just, they just reconnect you? It's really weird, I didn't just think- happened. DN literally just crashed. Wait, they, they reconnect you? I thought you had to like refresh the page. Oh, sometimes. Depends. Oh, okay, because I didn't click on anything and all of a sudden just popped me back to the main menu. It's huh. not even working for me. Whatever. <laughs> I guess the end is falling apart. Oh, God, we got our videos in. Damn, I wanted to record my why. Oh, well. <laughs> no, we can do it now. What, with the end crashing? <laughs> uh, is, it, is it loading for you? Yeah, I'm actually back on. Okay, okay, who can? So, you know, it just... Roto would be a fine hit. Roto back to one would just be oh okay. It, it deserves it. It really does. Hit fucking heroes. Hit necros. Hit tellers. All in just one nice little card hit. You know, Roto to one, trip to one, and just be a okay. What do you think about people saying that they should hit Nova? Stellar Nova. Yeah. Oh no, not really. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it either. I, I, I really don't understand what people... I guess they're salty about the card, but it's like, what makes, what makes the card OP? I mean, for the best decks, it's too easy to play around. It's just like, oh, you know, I, 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 someone was like, oh, yeah, they get a plus, they get to draw. I'm like, but they attributed their monster. Like, that's the least they can get. <laughs> yeah. They, they activate their card, they attribute their monster, they negate you, they draw a card. That's zero. That's a zero. And they can't even search you. Like I said, I explained it in my freaking Ballast Prediction Part 2. I'm like, if Deneb can search it, then yeah. Oh, that'd uh, be awesome. That, that can you understand. You know how awesome that would that'd be. That'd be busted fucking summon Deneb, search Nova, set Nova. <laughs> Nova? <laughs> that'd be, ooh. It's like late game when you have a whole bunch of monsters. Oh, uh, just special. No, end phase called the Haunted Deneb. Search that out, and then I could, like, 
summon Ultai or special that at another freaking Nova be like, yeah, good luck. Yeah, but no, you can't. You draw it just like any other card. I'm just saying, what? So any deck that does well that has a counter trap that's the first thing you can go off of. I mean, I assume I'm assuming that people are trying to go off a of set precedence when it comes to barrier, but barrier is searchable. So like, oh well, hit Nova. All right, well then what? What? So what if uh, you send you start stepping up? So what are we hitting you send you? Oh, yep, hit secret move. Okay, Zephyr. Oh, hit their counter trap too. Like every deck that has a counter trap, just hit it. Oh my god, stupid. <laughs> just have a fucking ban list covered with counter traps. Yep, your next fucking grave keepers. I'm watching you. Watching you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... Oh, yeah, they have a counter trap, too. Yeah, like, I'm watching you, gamekeepers. <laughs> no. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and wrap that up. So, looking forward to that ban list. Should be getting it, like, in, like, a week. No, no. No, no. Like a week, like a week. Yeah, I'd say a week. About a week, because they'll probably week, reveal it. Yeah, a like, week right. from now is Nationals, then two weeks is Euros. Okay, they'll probably be really like right after nationals or maybe Euros. Yeah. I wonder if they're gonna wait till after South America though. Oh, when's that? Uh, I think it's like early July. So I wonder if instead of doing July first, if they'll do like July what fourteenth like they did before. For the not for the yeah probably world's list probably. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see how correct I am. I'll work for Konami. I just try to get in their heads, but so like I said, I might I might just I would love I like I want to do discussion videos, but I don't want to do them on my channel. I want to do them on like guest uploads, but it's hard to get in contact with the bigger YouTubers. It really is. Fucking G never checks. Try. G never checks his messages. Jack the Kiss never checks his messages. You know. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So, uh, thank you, Steve, for joining me. No problem. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, see you guys next weekend with some more DMD commentary. Alright people, thanks for watching.